Hey guys, what's going on? So today I'm going to be doing a quick airdrop demo for you. Um, on the left here I have my iPad mini, even though it doesn't look like that in the reflector. And then on the right I have my iPhone 5S. So what I'm going to be doing is just demonstrating how the airdrop method works going from an iPad or an iPhone to another iDevice. So what I'm going to do here is I have a picture and I'm going to send it to my iPhone 5S. Um, as you can see on my setting here I have it set to contacts only, that way people who are not my contacts list can't send me anything. Okay, so then I'm just going to click select, and then I'm going to uh, click the button in the top left corner up here, and uh, then you'll see my name pop up for my iPhone 5S, as you can see it popped up there. So when I go ahead and tap it, um, it'll show up on my iPhone 5S, and I can choose whether to decline or accept it, but I'm going to go ahead and accept it, and then you can see it popping up. Uh, on my phone. All right, and there you can see the uh, image that was just sent over to my iPhone uh, 5S, um, and it downloads it just as I took the picture in the same quality on my phone. Now you may wonder why not just send it as an iMessage um, instead of um, airdropping it, but airdrop is actually really convenient because you can use it for contacts as well. Um, so you don't just have to use it for pictures. Uh, it's really just a really unique and cool way, and it's like the Android how they do the bump function, except for you don't actually have to bump your phones you can just do it like this. I think it's really cool, uh, but that's just my personal opinion. And that's it for today, guys. If you have uh, any comments or suggestions, please leave them below, and also feel free to tweet me at jb_iphone5. underscore iPhone 5. Thanks for watching.